little village on the edge of the jungle, there once lived a little black boy called Sambo. One day... Come on up, Sambo. I've got something nice for you. Something nice? What is it? Well, come on up and see. I wonder what it is, something nice, say. I wonder what it is. Oh, you're back, Dad. Here. Oof. Hurry up and dry yourself. Huh? Mumbo had made Sambo some new trousers and a new coat. Oh, are these for me? Yes. Wow. <coughs> Shoes as well. Thank you, Dad. Hey, look at that. It's great. He looks just like a prince. Sambo went for a walk in the jungle, wearing the shoes his father had bought him in town and carrying a green parasol. He looked very grand indeed in his little red coat, his blue trousers and his purple shoes. He was so happy, he walked deeper and deeper into the jungle. But Sambo went so far into the jungle, he got lost. boy looks delicious. Please wait, Mr. Tiger. Don't eat me up. I'll, g I'll give you this. Oh? It's a beautiful little red coat. Mm. 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 Why don't you try it on? Please don't eat me up. Mm, like this? Uh, how does it look? It's just the right size. It suits you. You look really good. Hmm. Very well. I won't eat you up this time. Phew. I'm safe. What a beautiful coat. <laughs> now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. But not long after the tiger had walked off with the little red coat... Arr, arr, ah. arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Mr. Tiger, please don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little blue trousers. They'll look really good on you. How do I look? Oh, they make you look very strong. Really? Oh, that's great. Now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. Goodbye. But not long after the tiger had walked off with the blue trousers, another tiger appeared. Watch out, Sambo! <laughs> Escape from me. Oh, help! Help! You look really delicious. No, please don't. Yeah. Ah. 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 Oh. Phew, thank goodness for that. I'm safe. <laughs> Ah, that's it. 
What are these? Mr. Tiger, I'll give you my lovely little purple shoes. They'll look really nice on your ears. Will they indeed? How's that? <laughs> That's a good idea. You won't eat me up now, will you? No, not just yet. Ah, these really suit the grandest tiger in the jungle. I'll take them. And so the tiger walked off with the shoes on his ears. But... Oh! 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 oh. Ow! That hurt. And yet another tiger appeared from the jungle. This time, little Black Sambo gave away his beautiful green parasol. <laughs> now there really is no doubt that I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. Poor little Black Sambo. He had lost the beautiful clothes his mother had made for him and the lovely shoes and parasol his father had given him. <laughs> The grandest tiger in the jungle. What are you talking about? I am... Stop talking nonsense. Look at my beautiful ears. I am the one who looks most like the king of the jungle. Just a moment. Look what I'm wearing. In this beautiful red coat, I can be seen from anywhere. I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. Who are you kidding? <laughs> And so, in order to decide who was the grandest tiger in the jungle, there was no other way but to fight each other until only one remained. The tigers raced round and round the tree, faster and faster. raced round and round the tree so fast that finally they melted. Ooh. Wow, something smells really nice. Home, and Mum will be really pleased. However, little Black Sambo was still lost and he couldn't find his house. Oh, oh what shall I do? I've been walking and walking and I can't find my way home. Huh? There's our house! I've made it!
When little Black Sambo's mother and father saw the present he had brought back home, they were delighted. His mother quickly made some pancakes. Sambo, don't eat so quickly. You don't need to rush. The pancakes won't run away. The pancakes were so delicious that Mumbo at 27, Jumbo at 55, and little black Sambo, who was really very hungry, at, would you believe it? 168. No, he didn't. It was 169 pancakes. Oh.